These are the four most overpowered free packs in Madden 24. Now, so, so, say family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you watching this one are having a wonderful start to your day. And without further ado, let's get it popping. Now, boys, the first packs we're going to be opening in this video are the legendary option packs, which as you guys can see right here, you're going to earn as you go through your season field pass. And I'm going to say this without a doubt. These are probably the best free packs you guys can pick up in any of the field passes in Madden 24. Now, as you can see right here, you're going to get a legendary option pack at level number 42 40 y dos. correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure i'm way off and you're also going to get one at level number 39 now let's go through and rip the band-aid off open this pack up and see what we can pull as well as track how many coins we're going to make i'm honestly pretty curious to see what this coin number is going to end up being at the end of the video so i got my handy dandy calculator right here shout out to ty verdes with aok -okay on the screen but we're going to be using this to see how many coins we make now really the only thing you need to know about this pack is number one it's the best free pack in madden 24 so it's it's worth grinding for and worth opening up, of course. But number two, let's talk about what to pick because obviously there's some good options in here. There's three playmaker packs, which to me just really aren't opening with the market being so low, especially for like the lower overall cards in this game, like 86s, 87s, 88s. I don't think you're getting a ton of value out of this pack. But otherwise, we've also got a weekly platinum, which to me feels like a nice option as well as a triumph elite pack. Now in this video, I'm going to open up one triumph elite and I'm going to open up one weekly platinum. But to me personally, I believe the weekly platinum is going to be better because we're going to be getting players that quick sell for coins and that's obviously really king right now in Madden 24. In terms of the market, it's pretty low with EA Sports reducing the price minimums. Prices have gone down even more. So I'd rather get a card that quick sells for coins rather than one that's now selling for less coins when I actually need to auction it. But let's get started with opening up the weekly platinum. That will be the first pack we open in this video and let's see what we can pull. Of course, we're looking for something good inside the coin quick sell option and we're going to pull an 82 overall Dre Greenlaw. Honestly, one of my favorite favorite players in the NFL. I don't know how many coins that quick sells for. We'll check in a second, but an 82 looks pretty good. Team of the week, 89 overall Terrell Bernard. So even though, oh, two coin cards. I thought it's just one coin card, 83 Terry, and that's gotten a crazy. Okay, this pack ends up being really good. In terms of how much they're going to quick sell for, that is 93K. That is why I'm taking the weekly platinum option. Although an 82 and an 83 overall pull, that doesn't seem good at all. That combines for 93,000 coins. That's so much more than really any card you're going to pull in my in 24. You'd have to pull, I believe it is a 94 overall player to make that coin value back. And oh wait, we've also got an 89 Terrell Bernard. So pack number one is making us about 100,000 coins. 89 overall players, like I said, they just don't sell for any coins. That's why I'd rather go through and open up the packs that are going to give me coin value instead of packs that are going to give me players which don't sell for a ton of coins. All right, pack number two, we got the legendary option pack and the second one we're going to be opening up in this video. Now I am going to pick the Triumph Elite, which I don't think is the move, but I'm just picking it as an experiment because I want to show you guys what's inside of this. Again, when you get this pack, I would suggest the weekly platinum, but let's have some fun. Let's open up the triumph elite. Let's see how well we can do again. Are we going to get more than hundred K in value? I don't think so. We'll see. Card number one is a 93 OVR Bryce Young. That's probably going to be our big slot for this pack. Okay. We go back to back 93 overall Broderick Jones and 93 overall Bryce Young. Are you kidding me? That is an awesome start. Another good pull right here. I believe 93. Stephon Gilmore and the final card is going to be a 73 overall Hassan Haskins. I remember taking his lower on underdog fantasy and winning money this year. So Hassan, I appreciate it. But 93 Bryce Young, 93 Broderick Jones. That's going to combine if they all sell for 40k for 1 20? Are you serious, boys? Now, I'm going to have to check prices, but hot damn, we might be up really, really big in the video. Let's take a look at numbers and just confirm those. So yeah, just quickly look at numbers right here. Stephon Gilmore, as you guys can see, is another 40k. That is awesome. And I'm assuming Broderick Jones is going to be the exact same thing. So we right now are up to 220,000 coins in value so far in this video. Wow, I was not expecting it to be that good. Broderick Jones even sells for more than 40. We can get 50 for him. So, I mean, what a freaking start to this video. I, I absolutely love to see it. Again, those to me are the best free packs in Madden 24. The second best free packs are located in the competitive field pass. To me personally, I think the ultimate legend packs you get at level number 21 are low-key worth grinding for. I was a couple levels away a couple days ago, like level 18, because I really hadn't grinded after I got JJ. And I was like, you know what? Let me just play a couple online games 
games every single day. Get to level number 21. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a difficult feat whatsoever. And we did that to get two ultimate legend packs, which again are very, very good packs. To me, the legendary option and these two ultimate legend packs are probably the best free packs you can get in Madden 24 right now. Let's open up ultimate legend pack number one and see what we can pull. There are three rounds to each of these and round number one is going to be showing us. Let's see an 89 Ocho. Not the best. I guess probably not the worst. Well, that actually is the worst. Okay. 95 overall Chad Johnson in round number two. We're going to make a freak ton of coins in this video. 95 Chad in round number two. And we ended off with an 84 Trey Sermon, but 95 OVR Chad. Ocho Cinco. Mr. Johnson himself. I don't know why that round opened up without me doing anything, but that's another 90,000 coins, bringing the total to the video up to 300 K. Oh my goodness, bro. Now we've got another ultimate legend pack to rip, but man, oh man, I don't know what is going on. If you guys want good pack luck, you know what to do. Scroll down, drop a like, and hit that red subscribe button for pack luck. Obviously, I can't confirm that that is true, but it puts the good vibes out there. And if you put good vibes out there, you get good vibes back in return. Second pack is going to be starting us off with an 89 overall Bruce Smith. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know the Bruce Smith joke. You have to be a real OG to get that one, though. You got to be a real OG to get that one. 94. Jimmy Smith. Let's go, baby. And the second card is going to be showing us an 89 overall Randy Moss. But man, oh man, this is going crazy right now. This is going crazy. 79 Tank Dell, a part of, in my opinion, the best wide receiver core in the NFL. Nico Collins, Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell. That's pretty crazy. We're getting 60,000 coins of value for this card. So let's tackle on 60K. And that's going to bring the total up to 370,000 coins. Almost 100K per pack are are you kidding me? Let's go, bro. Now, again, if you want to open up the exact same packs that I did, I got them for free from a multitude of different things. Number one was going through my competitive field pass. The competitive field pass, of course, is going to give me the ultimate legend packs. The ultimate legend packs made me more coins than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to get pulls that were going to be that good. And then, of course, from the legendary option pack, those are from your season field pass. If you want to go through, get to those different levels in the past, you're going to open up the weekly platinum or the triumph elite. Again, like I said, I think the weekly platinum is more likely to to make you more coins just on a per pack basis but i guess the triumph elite probably has more potential to be a big big pack because it could give you a really big slot a 97 overall card a 95 overall card we of course pulled a bunch of 93s which is crazy to see and overall what a w pack opening wow so yeah boys that is gonna do it for me if you want to check out underdog fantasy we are rocking their t-shirt right now want to give them a shout out at the end of the video after they signed your boy to a nice little three-year contract locking me in to making more modern videos for you guys for the next three years so a big shout out to them for that if you guys want to check out underdog i'm gonna leave it linked in the description use the promo code swift as you check it out i'm not gonna lie my picks have been absolutely hot booty hot garbage so hopefully yours can be a little bit better than me if you sign up today or anytime this week of course you're gonna be getting a special i believe the special is golf related because the masters are going on but i think it's like a 0.5 strokes thing so as long as the golfer takes at least one shot in the masters i know i sound absolutely like i have no clue what I'm talking about right now but if the golfer takes one shot in the masters I don't know who it is it's someone who's obviously going to be playing you win that line right there that's gonna do it for me I'm gonna stop yapping until next time have a wonderful day I'll see y'all tomorrow peace